Usually as the snow is melting, it'll bring it up and, and have it spill. It was spilling earlier in the year, uh, but we haven't had as much rain. But the real difference, you know, and, and people look at it and they say, geez, you know, this is like five or six years now out of the last eight that it's gotten a little bit low. What's going on? And, yeah. and it's not really the weather. It's the biggest difference is that there's new ownership of the downstream hydroelectric plants that are below Hinkley Dam. You got a plant at Prospect, you have a plant at Trenton Falls. And for years and years, those were owned by Niagara Mohawk and they were very forgiving. So if the water level started to get a little bit low, they could slow it down a little bit and try to preserve it. Got it. Niagara Mohawk, you know, yeah. wasn't all that concerned. Now, uh, under ownership of Brookfield Power, they're asserting their rights under their contract with the Canal Corp very aggressively, and they're saying, we want every gallon we can get going through our turbines. And they look at that operating diagram that they use, and they're following it very, very carefully. And, uh, you know, right now, uh, at, at the elevation that it's at, it's not at all a problem for the drinking supply. And the power company's getting all the water they want, but it's the recreational use that's yeah, losing out, that's unfortunately. Right. Is this the new normal? Um, well, you know, it, it depends. I mean, the, uh, your guest on Friday mentioned something about what's called the FERC license. FERC is Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. So that's coming back up. Right? That's a federal license that dictates how Brookfield Power operates. And it was under the last FERC relicensing that they established some of these rules uh, relating to uh, aquatics and uh, minimum flows on the stream and everything else. Um, that when that license is up for renewal, there will be public input, public comment, and I suspect that there'll be a lot of people trying to intervene and change some of the parameters. Are, he, that's really what his, uh, yeah. his his issue is right now: informing people right. that this is your chance. Uh, that's going to come back before for public comment. This is your opportunity to get out there. Yeah, the best chance for people to really get involved is going to be when that FERC yeah. license reopens. I'm not sure the exact timetable. I think sometime in the next year and a half to two years is when they begin looking at it over like a five-year period before it's renewed. But that'll give people an opportunity to weigh in and, and see what they can do to change some of the operating procedures. So, uh, um, if I could, the, uh, one of the things that Assemblyman and Butler has been talking about for two or three years yeah. is that if we get a winter where there's not a lot of snow, mm -hmm. will there be enough, enough water for the, the new need, which will be the nano need? So if we're low now and then there's this new draw, if we have another year that's similar, another winter, what will that mean? Yeah, and, and certainly, uh, you know, his concerns are uh, obviously very valid. Yeah. The answer is that there are actually two contracts that are in play here, and sometimes they're somewhat opposed to each other. The Canal Corporation has a contract with Brookfield Power that says we're going to provide certain flow rates based on the time of year and the elevation. They also have a contract with us that says we're going to protect the drinking supply by not letting it go below certain levels. And so um, that portion hasn't kicked in yet. And when it does, then you have Brookfield Power saying, well, we don't care about your contract with them. Right. We want the water. And so Brookfield is threatening to sue. And frankly, the Canal Corporation is kind of stuck in a little bit of a difficult situation. I do, however, think that there's a role for New York State to play to resolve this kind of a conflict. Um, I have some thoughts about how that could be okay. settled out. And, uh, you know, I'll be talking to people in state government to see if we can maybe work something else out that'll be um, a little more beneficial for us all.